Well, um, really good to see you this morning um, on uh, Monday, the 1st of August um, for morning prayer. I hope that this finds you well and um, that all is um, sunny with you. It is um, sunny here in Staple Grove. Um, and um, my goodness, we're into August already. Um, how time flies. Um, Nothing in particular um, to commemorate or celebrate in terms of festivals today. Um, our diocesan prayer calendar directs us to pray for those who are still suffering from um, coronavirus and other respiratory diseases. So we'll be pleased to pray for that. Um, and um, we are also going to have Psalm number one um, and um, a chunk from Luke's gospel. We were thinking in our services um, yesterday, our curate Catherine was uh, inviting us to reflect upon the balance between um, the, the worldly needs and desires and those of the heavenly realms, of course. Um, whilst we live our lives very much here in earth, of course, our true home as Christians is um, in heaven with God. And so we always have that, that tension, I guess, um, between the two as we live uh, by faith and not by sight. So lots to think about, um, lots to pray into. So let's turn to our prayers now. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, creator of all. To you be praise and glory forever. As your dawn renews the face of the earth, bringing light and life to all creation, may we rejoice in this day you have made. As we wake refreshed from the depths of sleep, open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to do your will. That the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. So in the Old Testament, turning to the first psalm of all, psalm number one. Blessed are they who have not walked in the counsel of the wicked nor lingered in the way of sinners, nor sat in the assembly of the scornful. Their delight is in the law of the Lord, and they meditate on his law day and night. Like a tree planted by streams of water, bearing fruit in due season with leaves that do not wither, whatever they do, it shall prosper. As for the wicked, it is not so with them. They are like chaff which the wind blows away. Therefore the wicked shall not be able to stand in the judgment, nor the sinner in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked shall perish. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Luke chapter 22, verses 24 to 30. A dispute also arose among them as to which of them was to be regarded as the greatest. But Jesus said to them, the kings of the Gentiles lord it over them, and those in authority over them are called benefactors, but not so with you. Rather, the greatest among you must become like the youngest, and the leader like one who serves. Or who is greater, the one who is at the table or the one who serves? Is it not the one at the table? But I am among you as one who serves. You are those who have stood by me in my trials, and I confer on you, just as my father has conferred on me, a kingdom, so that you may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom, and you will sit on thrones judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and be not wise in your own sight. Trust in the Lord with your own heart and be not wise in your own sight. 
In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and be not wise in your own sight. So let's turn to our prayers of intercession as we pray for the church, the day and uh, the world. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word. Lord, we thank you for the worship that was held in your churches here in our benefice this weekend. We thank you for the scriptures that we were reflecting upon from Colossians and from Luke. That balance between needs and desires of the earthly realms and the spiritual realms. Lord, help us to live by faith and not by sight. Help us to trust in your unfailing love, to know your presence with us, to know our home with you in heaven. But Lord, help us to focus too upon our lives here on earth as we go about living our lives but of course with heavenly standards and values so help us to be the eyes the feet the hands the ears of jesus christ lord in your mercy hear our prayer lord we do pray for the church as we seek to be just that the body of christ upon earth Lord, we thank you for the responsibility and the privilege of being your representatives, your ambassadors here in the world. Lord, we know that we can't do this in our own strength, but ask simply that you would enable us through your Holy Spirit to do so. Lord, we thank you for Staple Grove Church, for Norton Fitzwarren Church, for the joint benefice service that took place yesterday, and for the seed sown. Somehow through your spirit, you would lead us into truth and into greater deeds. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we do pray for those people who are still suffering from COVID-19. Of course, there are many. We're thankful for the vaccination programme, that on the whole, at least infections are manageable, although we know that that's not always the case. Lord, we do continue to pray for our health services as they deal with the additional pressures. Lord, we pray for all who suffer from respiratory conditions and ask that you would have your hand upon them today. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We ask today to pray for the media, the arts, So, Lord, we thank you for those who communicate on our behalf. We recognise our own communications within the church, both locally and more further afield. And, Lord, we, we know that we could do more, could do better. We pray in particular for the efforts to introduce a new church website. So, Lord, we do pray for wisdom in that process. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We're asked to pray also today for farming and fishing, commerce and industry. This time of harvest as our fields are perhaps drier than would be expected at this time of year. So we pray for those who work in agriculture. Lord, we do pray for all businesses within our parishes. 
many of whom are relatively small and yet provide valuable services to the communities in which we live. Lord, we do pray for your protection upon all local businesses, not least in the rising costs of living and of existing. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Lord, we pray for those who are experiencing problems within the sphere of work, for those particularly who are struggling with their job for whatever reason, finding it difficult or stressful, unfulfilling, and indeed those who are unemployed, not through choice at the moment. So, Lord, we pray that a sense of your presence would be with these people, that you would provide for them, that you would raise up people to support at their point of need. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray especially at the moment for the Lambeth Conference with bishops, I think some 600 or so bishops from all over the world meeting together with some uh, spouses too to consider various topics and issues. Lord, we do pray that your Holy Spirit would be with them. And Lord, we thank you for our bishops recognising the pressures that they face, the high calling to which you have brought them. Lord, we thank you for uh, Bishop Ruth and for Bishop Michael as he prepares to take up his post. Lord, we do pray that you would grant them wisdom and strength. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Lord, we do bring before you those people we know who are at a particular time in their lives when they need prayer, whether that be through health, mental or physical, or whether that's sorrow or sadness, anxiety, loneliness or grief. Lord, we know that there are many people in our communities who suffer in different ways. We take a moment now to call to mind any individuals known to us. So, Lord, we pray that you would pour out the healing oil of your mercy upon them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Lord, we do pray for the day that lies ahead of us today. Not least for the visits that I'll be making to uh, two home communions and of our meeting this evening of our church wardens across the benefice. So we do thank you, Lord, for, uh, for Pete and Andrew and Alec and Duncan, the valuable work that they do. Lord, we pray that you would bind us together in unity, that you would bless our time together as we seek to build and further your kingdom here on earth. So, Lord of all power and might, the author and giver of all good things, graft in our hearts the love of your name, nourish us with all goodness, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And as our Saviour, Jesus, has taught us, so we pray, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. The Lord bless us, preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. And let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. I hope that you have a really good day and um, look forward to catching up with you again. Go well. <laughs>